Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to run Python program using VS Code. So let's start the video. So first of all, I am going to install VS Code. So you can open any of your favorite browser and just type VS Code download. And here you can see the official website code.visualstudio.com. Just click on this link. So now I am going to install VS Code for my Windows operating system. If you are using any other operating system, you can click on appropriate link. So let me click on this link. Okay, now it has started downloading the exe file. Okay, my download is done. I am going to run this exe. So I will be clicking on this exe file. And I am going to select run option. And here I am going to click on I accept the agreement and then click on next button. Okay, this is the installation path for VS Code. If you want to change, you can click on browse button and change. I don't want to change. I am going to click on next button. Okay, then again click on next button. And here if you want shortcut on desktop, you can select this checkbox. And if you want that uh, VS Code option you should get on right click then you can select this option also you can select this option and now I am going to click on next button and finally I will be clicking on install button ok so now installation of VS Code is done I am going to launch my Visual Studio Code so just click on this finish button Okay, so after installing this VS code, I will be installing Python ideally. So again, go to your browser and just type Python download. And now here you can see python.org, which is official website and click on this download Python link. And now here you can click download Python 3.10.5, which is the latest release download is done now I am going to click on this exe and I will select run option ok here I am going to check mark on this option that is add python 3.10 to path and I am going to select customize installation and now here you can see it is showing me documentation pip and ideally so all options are checked although you can click on next button and if you want to install it for all user you can just select this option yes I want to do for my all user of this system so I am selecting this option also and this is what installation location that is C colon program files if you have any reason for changing you can click on this browse button and change it I don't want to change so I am going to select install okay now it's asking me permission i will be clicking on yes okay so my setup has been started let's wait okay my python has been installed now i'm going to click on this close button so vs code installation is done python installation is done now i'm going to start my vs code okay so this is welcome screen of vs code now i have to install extension for python programming so here is the option extension just click on this and in search you just type python and here you can see it is showing me python intellisense i will be selecting this one that is from microsoft now here you can see it is showing me install button so just click on install remember one thing if you have not installed python ideally on your machine then you won't be able to run this extension so just select this install option okay so it is installing my extension okay my extension installation has been done now I am going to quickly create one simple program of python using this extension so let me just cross this and for that you have to just go to explorer and here you have to click on open folder button and now you have to create one folder wherever you want I am just creating on my desktop so let me select new folder option and I am giving name to my folder as CS corner and select folder. Okay so here you can see my folder has been added. Now you can create files inside this. So here is the option for creating files. So just click on this new file option 
and give name to your program so i am giving hello dot py and press enter it has created python file now you can type your python code so i am just going to print a simple message that is thanks for watching and now let's run this program so you can see here i am getting this run code option because of that extension so just select this option okay you can see here thanks for watching as expected my output it is shown on terminal so this way you can run your python program on vs code editor three steps to be followed one is what installation of vs code another is installation of python ideally and then installation of python extension on vs code i hope this video has helped you if yes then don't forget to like also if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box i am going to surely reply to your queries if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel to support me and my channel i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye and take care